Yes, yes. Good cup of coffee and a sweet RC car came in the mail yesterday. Oh yes, the brand new Arma Vortex 3S capable. Uh, I guess this would be a buggy, a truggy. Not sure what you call it, but it looks awesome. Uh, I already opened the box because for some reason I cannot wait until the camera starts rolling to open the box. It came in the mail yesterday. My son wanted to see it, so we already opened it to take a look, but I haven't got it out yet, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh yeah, the bottom looks fresh. And there she is. Oh, got the green and blue. Oh yes. Gotta get in that new RC smell, gotta love it. Four traditional body pins here. Body comes off. The spoiler is attached to the body, if you were wondering. There's a lot of other channels out there that did all the tech talk on this, so if you want all the tech information on this truck, go check out one of those other channels because that's not really what I do here. But I will tell you that it is a 3200 kV motor. Uh, it's got a heat sink right here and a cooling fan, which is pretty impressive for such a small vehicle. One thing I did notice about this RC car is the tires are super hard compared to anything else that's in the 10 scale class, guys. They're very stiff tires and also they have little vent holes right there, as you can see. Okay, so you're looking at a DX3 Spectrum controller here. I've never had one of these actually, so we're gonna see how the response is outside. And for the size of this vehicle, guys, it's got a good bit of weight to it. She's pretty beefy, and I can't wait to see how it works. All right, guys, uh, we just had some rain pass through here, so I had to wait, and it looks like we're gonna be doing our first run in the mud. It's gonna get muddy right off the bat, which is, you know, it's kind of sad. I'm excited. Woo! First roll over. Let's go take it on the track. Oh, this is perfect for the track. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh. Well, I gotta say, it does really, really well on the track. It's definitely a track vehicle for sure. Man, I can imagine getting like five of these and your buddies out here racing around the track. That would be an absolute blast. When you steer this thing, it steers. It does not fool around. It's like it handles so well that it's almost a challenge to drive. I mean, it, it's so agile. It hooks the corners. It does everything you want to do. The only thing is, I would say, I want to put a smaller pinion on there because I like a little bit more acceleration. This has a lot of top end right out of the box, it seems like. I'm not sure what the gearing is. I didn't look at that. Uh, maybe put the shocks up in the front a little bit. They come with some adjusters that you snap in. Man, such a fun truck. Ooh, the sun's coming out. We are gonna give the freestyle track a rip. The freestyle track needs some love. Actually, I'm probably gonna tear this one down here soon and build my other freestyle track back where it's supposed to be because the dirt is so much work. I'm probably gonna do plywood jumps in the back, guys. Dirt looks cool and it's fun to run on, but it's so much maintenance and I don't feel like doing that. So here we are in my new workshop in the garage here. 
Uh, we had this garage put in last summer and now I'm finally making use of the area. This is an awesome RC car. It is super tough. I have ran one battery pack through it so far and I've beat the snot out of this thing. There's been a lot of cringe moments where I like, oh, it broke, it broke. Very impressive. This is actually only my second Arma vehicle. I have a Creighton 6S and now I have the Vortex. It's got a fresh battery in it. Let's take it up to the road, do some speed runs and see how fast this little thing can go. I don't have a GPS. We're just going to see how fast it goes by eye. I'm thinking it's going to be pretty fast. Okay, no cars, no traffic. Let me uh, dial in the steering trim here. Going pretty straight. Well, she wanted to pull to the left. Ah! All right, let's see what it's got. It's a good thing it's heavy. A small car, but it's heavy, so it's nice that it has weight. I'd guess about 40 miles an hour. That's a fun truck. I love it. So I would say about 40 miles an hour by eye. That's what I would guess. I know there's an app for your phone you can get, and apparently it'll tell you the speed and everything like that. I just really haven't got into that yet. But, guys, yeah, super impressive truck. I've ran one battery pack through it, and... It's very tough. I thought I broke it a couple times. I'm not lying. I'm not gentle on RC cars as you've seen before. You know, and my honest opinion, it is extremely tough. Uh, durable little truck. Got some weight to it. Highly recommend it. Link in the description below to where you can get this truck from.